A person's social media posts may include mundane comments about daily life, but are these posts relevant to discovery if a person is seeking damages for emotional distress? We'll get the answer to this question in Jaquetto v. Patchogue Medford Union Free School District. In 1996, Teresa Jaquetto began working as a teacher in Patchogue Medford Union Free School District. In 2010, Jaquetto was diagnosed with Adult Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. Jaquetto informed the school district about her diagnosis and continued to work as a teacher. Jaquetto claimed that a school district employee repeatedly mocked Jaquetto about her diagnosis in front of other people. In 2011, Jaquetto filed a disability discrimination complaint with the state of New York. After Jaquetto filed her complaint, she claimed that the school district began treating her differently than employees who didn't have disabilities. For example, Jaquetto alleged that the school district didn't accommodate her disability and that the district made her teach a different grade level against her will. Jaquetto sued the school district, claiming that it violated New York state law and the Americans with Disabilities Act. Jaquetto sought damages for emotional distress. Initially, the school district filed a motion to compel Jaquetto to release all of her records from her social media accounts, including her posts from her Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace accounts. The school district argued that the information in Jaquetto's social media accounts was relevant to her emotional damages claims because the posts reflected her level of social interaction and daily functioning, as well as her emotional and psychological state. Later, the school board limited its motion to specific posts, including Jaquetto's posts about her emotional and psychological well-being and posts that related to the specific events Jaquetto cited in her complaint. Jaquetto argued that the district's request was based on speculation and was a fishing expedition that was meant to invade Jaquetto's privacy.